Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stator, and I'm going to show you how to change the voltage regulator on your uh, Polaris Sportsman 500. So this is kind of a, a difficult thing to give you a good shot at exactly how to remove it. Um, the regulator is mounted down here in front of the radiator and just behind the grill on the front of the vehicle. Um, it has a mounting bracket right here and the original regulator is mounted to the bracket and the bracket or through the bracket and the bracket itself also is mounted to part of the frame for the grill up front. Uh, it uses T25 Torx uh, screws. So I've already removed those, um, set the bracket out of the way and I've pulled the regulator up here so you can see it. Now I do want to tell you if you remove the radiator um, grill guard kind of thing that sits in front of it, you have enough room so you can get to the um, mounting bolts down there. It's really tight. Uh, to get out. So this guy comes out with uh, three Phillips screws on each side and then there's some rubber bands that hold the uh, mounting plate to the grill. So I've removed that. I'm going to get it out of the way. And you can see our old regulator here. Here's our new one. Uh, four wires, really easy to change. Your battery connection are the red and the uh, brown wires. And then your stator side are the yellow and yellow with the red stripe. So I've unplugged those, I'm gonna get it out of the way. And your new one just plugs in the same way, not much to it. Just like that, plug in the battery side. Okay, so that's about it as far as the wiring goes. The hard part is getting your regulator mounted back to the bracket and the bracket mounted back to the frame down there. So with the uh, grill removed, you can do it, just uh, take your time and get the screws lined up and you'll be fine. So once that's done, your regulator's changed and you're ready to go. Okay, and when we do any work on the charging system, it's always a good idea to do a final test and make sure everything's working well. So uh, here I've got uh, the seat removed and the battery's kind of mounted on the side of the frame here. I have some um, alligator clips running around to the battery terminals so we can get a good connection to it. Um, so basically we're just gonna fire it up and monitor the battery voltage and we wanna see it get upwards of 14.6 volts, 14.7 or so, that'd be, we wanna see it regulate around there. And I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and we'll see what happens. So perfect, we see uh, upwards of 14.6 volts, uh, which says that we're getting good output from the charging system and the regulator's working fine holding the voltage down. And then we'll see the meter drop back down to the resting voltage, 12, uh, high 12s, 13. So that's about it. We know our charging system's working fine and uh, the Sportsman's ready to go.